you'll be amazed how working with your feet and this tennis ball in just a few moments in this video can make some big changes. Enjoy the practice. With the heel down, pressing down. If that doesn't feel like enough, of course, you can always stand. In fact, that might be a, a good thing to check out. What's the difference between the standing and the seated? Because a seated doesn't give you all that much pressure if you stand. And sometimes the ball does this whole runaway thing and you want to Make sure that that doesn't happen. Now go to what it would be the second, uh, the base of the second toe. You were at the base of the big toe. Go to the second toe. Press down and have your heel pressing down as well. And again, you can sit down if that's too much for you or if you feel really out of balance. You can go to your third toe, third base of the toe. As we get to the arches of the feet, it could be a little bit more difficult for you, a little bit more um, tender for you. Go to the base of the fourth toe if you haven't already. And the, the foot is, is not like, a, as one teacher always said, Fred Flintstone feet. It's not this, this flat line from the base of the big toe to the baby toe, there's an arch going on there. So you may want to take the, the ball closer to the heel so that you can get to the base of those toes because again, it's not straight across, it, it uh, curves nicely. Now go to the base of the baby toe, press down very fully and just kind of get your toes to wrap around the ball as you do that. Very good. Now go to the top of the heel, the part of the heel that's closest to your toes and press your toes down to the mat with the ball just to the top of the heel, just press down. And again, you can be seated if you wish, just to press very fully down. Now just go on the top of the heel, the most forward part of the heel, just go side to side. So you're just doing a, a nice, easy movement there, side to side. It's like the base of the big toe is pressing down on the floor. You're just pressing down and just moving side to side. Now let's go to the heel down and the ball right at the center of the base of all those toes, right in the center. Just press down, try to curl your toes around the tennis ball, and now lift your toes away from the floor. And do that several times. Curl your toes down, almost like you're trying to grab the ball with your toes, and inhale, lift your toes up. And last time, just curl your toes down, and lift your toes up and spread your toes. Very good. Now release. Now let's um, do um, a stroking of the, of the tennis ball. So take the, the uh, tennis ball to the base of the toes and just go toward the heel, just roll it. Try to keep it un under control. Now, when you bring it back, don't put any pressure on it. Just have the pressure going one way. Press down through the base of the toes and go to the heel. And press down through the base of the toes and roll it to the heel. And one more time, press down through the base of the toes and roll it. All right, and release your foot off and just kind of notice how your feet feel. You feel like a total difference between the, the foot that you've worked and the foot that you haven't. You can step off your mat if you wish. And as you step off your mat, that energized foot, notice how it just roots you down so fully. As you bend your knees, as you take your thigh bones back, 
as you hug into the midline, just keep on it, uh, bringing that awareness to that foot that you worked and notice the energetic qualities of that foot compared to the others. As you're ready, you can lift your arms up and just draw the thigh back, aligning the knees right over the ankles. You have greater stability here now that one foot is so actively charged. Just check in with that. Press down to inhale and rise up. And let's come to uh, work the right foot. Again, you can be seated if you wish. And just work the, the base of the toes first. Base of the big toe. You're pressing your heel down. Getting a nice stretch to the back side of the ankle there and pressing the second toe down and the third. And you just want to sometimes move forward and back, just kind of pulse into it and back. And you just notice how the different this foot might feel than the other. When you're standing in Tadasana, one thing I like to check into a lot is like what leg feels like it's like the balancing leg in, in Tadasana. When I'm on two feet, there's usually one leg that seems to take more charge than the other. Now press down through the base of the big toe as you curl the toes over the ball. Do that same action again, just pressing in. And just check it out on this foot. See how much spread you can get to the toes as you try to almost grab the tennis ball. Now go to the top of the heel with your toes down and your heel lifted this time. Go to the top of the heel. You can have the opposite foot behind you there so that you can just press in to the the middle of the top of the heel, press down very fully. And now as you ease up and back off, just to go side to side here. Again, like you're just pressing through the base of the big toe as you go side to side really slowly. And see again how much pressure it works for you to apply on this side. And as you just work the foot nicely, just find any areas that can be slightly funky there. And now let's do that rolling from the heel all the way to the base of the toes. And when you slide it back, no pressure. It's just from the heel to the toes that you're getting that pressure. From the heel to the toes. And I like to, when I'm doing this, try to uh, imagine that I'm going from the heel to each base of the toe. I start from the heel to the base of the big toe, heel to the second toe. And I'd see by the time I'm at the heel to the baby toe, if I can really uh, notice uh, the difference between the toes. And once you're done in that five stroke uh, practice, press your heel down and your toes are lifted. Once again, curl your toes over the ball and lean into it. And inhale, lift up away from the ball and spread your toes, lift them all up. And exhale, just press down maybe to a slightly different area in the foot. And inhale, lift up. And again, press down. And lift all the toes up and spread the toes. Very good. And release out of that. So just a, a few minutes every day really makes a difference on your um, standing poses. So let's uh, try some standing poses. So as you stand tall at the top of your mat, 
lift and spread your toes and just notice how energized they feel. Take your toes down to the earth and as you just stand in Tadasana, notice is there one leg to you that feels a lot more engaged than the other? See how you can just keep a nice balance of energy, that equipoise, that balanced action. I always think after working the feet on the tennis balls, um, you know, I feel a little fiery in the feet. And sometimes my toes get really cold. So it feels really great to have nice warm toes. So take all your weight to your right foot or most of your weight to your right foot, I should say. Just pause there. And step your left foot to the side. Interlace your fingers and reach your interlaced fingers over to the side while bending your elbows. So you keep your shoulder blades back. If you'd like to lift up that extended foot, feel free to do that. See in this very asymmetric balance pose where your arms are to one side. You're just uh, trying to just kind of work that wide foundation that we played with that we try to expand even more fully through the tennis ball actions. And release your hands down. Just pause here for a moment. Notice uh, how one foot feels just a little bit more engaged still, even out of the pose. And see if you can take um, your attention now to the opposite foot. So as you take your attention to the left foot, Interlace your fingers, reach your interlace fingers up and over. Take your foot to the side. And as you just kind of press your toe tips, stay balanced as you reach to the side. And we'll be here for a few breaths here. So just give yourself time to just root down from the pelvis to the earth. To stay very steady. And as you stay rooted on the earth, see with the left foot, see if the right foot can lift slightly as you reach over. And come back to center, release your hands down. Thanks so much for joining the practice today to work on the feet. Hope you'll be able to use your tennis balls to get just a little bit more fullness uh, of action and a little bit more firmer foundation and steadiness in your poses. Namaste.